Thank you for staying with us. Our closing um, moment. Uh, so just our closing moment. Uh, whole stretch, oh, as we thank you. Say. Okay, thank you. <laughs> now, as far back as when he was in secondary school, he was already performing at various school activities. Hardly knowing he was on a path to great things. He perfected his rap skills, listening to and emulating the art of hip-hop greats like Nas, Jay-Z, Snoop Dogg. His first big chance to record a studio album came in 2006. He's internationally recognized as a rapper, a singer, a songwriter who's become an Afrobeat icon. There are few Nigerian artists who possess the social and commercial appeal of hip hop artist Remlakon Abdul Khalid Shafaru. Al Haji, I was like that. Popularly known as Reminis, or now added new name Makanaki. <laughs> if you know, Makanaki, then you Makanaki know the body. The body. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join us to welcome Makanaki, the body. Thank you. Or Reminis, a.k.a. Thank Makanaki. You. Which one do we go with first? Anyone. People, I mean. Because right now, Makanaki, Makanaki seem to be. I think the, 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 the movie fans uh -huh. and, um, if I put it this way, the elderly women. And they see me like, oh, Makanaki. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> whichever one works, Makanaki, Reminis, anyone. Well done. Yeah, thank you. So from secondary school, you started this. Yeah, yeah. I was, uh, you know, I was quite a popular kid in secondary school. I used to do um, social nights, lit days, and all that. So, yeah, I was quite a very popular kid. Too you, you, you look the role. You look the role. You look the part. Did it affect your academics? Uh, no, it didn't. Uh, at the point, it did. But you know, I think I, I was, I was, I think, I, I think I still am. I was quite a bright kid. And okay. That's why. You, you said something at the point. It did. What did mommy do when the? Um. No, you know now normal. You know, promiscuity, normal. You know, when I'm growing up, secondary school, you try to display a bit of, you know, something here and there. But the kid put you back. They format you, you know. They format you. They format you and you know, and put you back, back on track. So you know, aside, you know, aside from that, you know, I've always, you know, wanted to do this. And um, of course, my dad didn't want me. So I lost my mom quite early. I lost my mom while I was still in secondary school, GSS mm. actually. So um, it was my dad. And, you know, he didn't want me to do this. He was like, come on, you're too bright to, you know, to do this. You can't. Why do you want to sing? Why do you want to? You know, so he insisted that, you know, I had some, some form of, you know, um, formal education. Formal. Yeah, formal education. And, and yeah, you obeyed. So, so I did my, yeah, I did my bit. What did you spend? Did my, um, purchasing and supply, choir state polytechnic. So I just did my, I just, I couldn't wait for it to just be over. Like, I was like, oh, man, I have to sing, man. Yes. Let me just do this thing. Why so purchasing and supply, please? I just did whatever I, the first course available. I oh, think just, I did. I did uni. Something. I did uni jam. I did uni jam. Um, tried to go uni lag, but it, there was a lot of politicking. So I did uni and poly jam. So I think when the uni jam didn't work, I just told. I said I want to go out of Lagos because I was supposed to do Yaba Tech. Obviously, I grew up at Yaba, Alagomeji. So yeah, Yaba Tech is just Yaba Tech and uni lag were just you know a couple of down the road. Yeah, down the road of. from my place. So I was like, I don't want to stay around. I don't want to stay at home. I want to go somewhere else, another state. So, so there was this, you know, family friend of ours that was in Unilorin and all that. So I just wrote Poly Jam and I passed that and I was picked. And I was like, okay, I'm going to Poly Jam. Why do you want to go to Poly Jam? I'm like, I just want to go away from home. <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, and that was it. Okay. So you don't plan to do anything with your purchasing and supply? Um, I, I, have, I have a business. Of course, I have a business. I'm running entertainment business as well. So I have my side hustle and... You know, that, that helps with it now. I don't have to. I can't work anywhere. Where am I going to work? Are you going to employ me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll take a moment. We'll come back to continue the conversation with Reminis, a.k.a. Makanaki. Please don't go away. Thank you for staying with us. We still have Remy Lekon Shafaro, a.k.a. Alanji. Remini, oh, sorry, Alhaji, uh, yes, a.k.a. Yes, Reminis, <laughs> a.k.a. Makanaki. Yes, please. Well done. This is your 10th year of, in quote, stardom. Um, yes, uh, yeah. So how's it been? Yeah, it's, been, it's, been, it's been good. It's been great. And, you know, I feel, I feel very, very blessed. Even though I don't like to highlight it, because a lot of, I'm sure, as you mentioned, a lot of people start calculating, like, oh, 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 it's true. You know, I don't like to mention it. I just like to behave like I've been around for just two, three years and, you know, <laughs> learn and unlearn. Indeed. And you Your know. name, when um, the... Idris Abdul Karim, at the time Idris Abdul Karim was powering, mm. your name used to come in there somewhere. Uh, as a very, very small. As a small, just tiny, upcoming tiny, at that time. Very tiny, very, yeah. very tiny. It's a very tiny, <laughs> real small. But you, over that time, you found, it's, it's as if you evolved. You used to do rap. 
Yeah, I still rap. Yeah, but mostly rap. Majorly. Now you're mm -hmm. turning towards Afro hip hop. Uh, Afro it's like called, it's called, right now the term is Afrobeat. That's what they call it now, Afrobeat. So, um, you know, it's like Afrobeat now has, you know, sub genres like, you know, you, know, you have We, the rappers. You have um, the ones that call themselves the alternative ones. Then you have the pop stars as well. So it's just like different subgenres under that umbrella. So, you know, you need to gravitate towards that sound, you know, to remain relevant, to be able to, you know, um, reach certain audiences. Because obviously, you know, every other year, new people come in, new audiences come in. So you need to, you know, be able to reach these people. And of course, you have to evolve. You have to, you have to learn. You have to learn and unlearn and evolve. You know, as a person, as an artist, so I understand we have very li limited time yeah. to. But I need to ask you this question: so, music, movies, which one? Music, movies, music, obviously. Music, obviously, <laughs> obviously. But your rolling, your times. rolling king of boys was like. Yeah, I heard. I heard it was dope. You <laughs> heard. <laughs> so that's what pushed you. Pushed you. Pushed likes, you. Anti likes. Anti likes. <laughs> Ah, yes, yeah. I, I, yeah, I, 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 know, I liked that. Yeah, the f thank you, ma'am. The, <laughs> the feedback has been great. Of course, I'd love to do more. I'd love to do more movies and you know try my hands out on on a couple more movies. But music is still my first love. Mm. Yeah, music is my first love. That's so it. you're an entertainer, full stop. Yes, ma'am. I'm yeah. I'm becoming an entertainer all around now. <laughs> great, great, great. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, King. Oh yeah. 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 Hmm. But I'm a nice guy in real life, oh, Auntie. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Even if you say so yourself, we will take your word to be the gospel uh, truth. <laughs> so at the end of the day, yeah. At the end of the day, what next? What next? Um, more music. Um, of course, I'm trying my hands on other things, obviously, that I don't want to reveal or disclose. But businesses yes. within the entertainment industry as okay. well. You know, I have a few things I'm doing, you know, and that I own and yeah, just live life, enjoy my life, spend more time with my kids and you know, yeah. A word of enjoy. advice for those out there. Um, he, he's not single and ready to mingle. Please no, no, I'm not I'm not single. Yes. I'm not single. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what of advice? Uh, what of advice? Um, well just keep being you keep being you, do what you know how to do. Don't you know, don't um, lower your standards for anyone. Just keep doing you you know, things will happen for you when it is time. And, you know, while, you know, while at it, these days, I'll tell the young ones, like, try and, you know, get yourself some education or try and do something else if it's not working out at the time, you know, so that if eventually it doesn't work out, you have something to fall back on. If it does work out, I mean, it's still the same thing. You have... It's you a win-win. Yeah, win-win. It always, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, you for having me. We're speaking Alhaji Remilekun Shafaru, a.k.a. Reminis, and a.k.a. <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice. And there we draw the curtains on sunrise for this morning. Thank you for being with us. We'll see you again next week with a new edition. I'm Alero Edu wishing you a very happy weekend. And do obey the traffic rules, especially now that the third mainland bridge is shut for a while. And I'm Neo Taibwe wishing you the best out there. Be the best you can be. Love your neighbor, love yourself. Be a good Nigerian. No, no, be a good human being and think of the other human being. And guess what? We'll all get there when we leave, not just for us, but for somebody else. See you again. Bye. Bye.